It's Funko Friday, and it's time for some childhood memory Funkos. Is it awkward yet? Hi everybody, my name's Meg and welcome to Meg Lit is a Geek, where we geek out about everything Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, and a few other things. If you are new here, hi and welcome. I hope you feel as comfortable and as geeky as you like. If you're returning, thank you for geeking out with me once again. I really appreciate it. So it is a Funko Friday and we're going to be talking about some Funkos that represent my childhood growing up in the 80s and 90s. It is December. It is my birthday month. Um... Yeah, that's all I can say. I turned 40 this year, which a lot of people think is a, as a big age. To me, it's not. It's kind of hit or miss. Um, I lost my dad in December of 2005. He was in his 40s when he passed. It was an on-the-job accident. It wasn't... We weren't going to... We didn't see it coming. And um, so it just kind of gets harder the closer I get to his age and the fact that he passed in December, turn around, it's my birthday and then turn around, you have all the holidays going on. So December isn't always like, yay, it may not, it, that may explain why I'm, I don't really do a lot of Christmas stuff in my background. Like I put some ornaments up, that's about as good as I get. The wampa doesn't count because he's technically a Halloween wampa. But yeah, we're going to open up some Funko Pops from the 80s and 90s childhood. Yay! So, let's start with She-Ra, She-Ra, and the Princess of Power. So, this is a pop retro toy, the Masters of the Universe, and it is number 38. It is She-Ra, and she is a specialty series, and she glows in the dark. I loved She-Ra Princess of Power. I watched the cartoon all the time. My brother watched T-Man. You know, he had all the toys. I had quite a number of She-Ra toys growing up. Yes, yeah, so I took them from the shelf and put them back in their boxes. Because I keep all of these boxes. Just because I like the way the box looks. Now, I know in Vlogoween I opened Pops. And the, some of them had stands, and I never noticed. It's because they're literally the same color, like, see-through, like, the plastic. As you see, She-Ra has lost her stand. Don't know where it is. But, yes, I lose the stands all the time. But here she is. I love this outfit. If I had the figure, I'd so be She-Ra. But She-Ra could be a redhead, right? Because I don't know if I could do the blonde wig. Here she is. She's got her sword and shield. She is looking so awesome. She-Ra, her um, given name is Adora. She is He-Man's twin sister. I love this pop so much. I was so happy when it came out. I even pre-ordered it. And of course we have to see how it glows in the dark. I'm so happy to have her. She's my favorite. I need like all of the She-Ra characters though. I'll even accept Bo. But yes, I know there is a Netflix like reboot series. A lot of people like it. I've never seen it, but I enjoy the old She-Ra episodes. I used to have the DVDs. I can't find them. The next one we're going to talk about is one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Imagine that. It is Jem and the Holograms. So this is Jem in her Jem outfit. Yeah, Jem in the Jem outfit. But she is a pop animation number 479. She is, they only had two in the series and it is Jem and Pizzazz and I do have both. little earrings where she activates synergy 
I would love the entire band, by the way. I really would. I love this. I still sing the same song. Jim, Jim is excitement. Ooh, Jim. Jim is her name. So yeah. Like full on 80s. Love it. 80s glam. We love her. That makeup is definitely 80s. I never saw like the movie that came out a few years ago because it, it, it would have been better in the 80s. And sticking true with the awesome 80s styles. But yeah, there she is. So we gotta add Gem. And it, I did mention that I had both of these. So here is Pizzazz. She is leader of the Misfits. We are the Misfits. Our songs are bitter. She is 480, also pop animation. Now she has full on like 80s rocker style with like the like zebra fur stuff. And she has a stand. If I can remember to. Once again, I forget their stands in this unless I'm really paying attention. But yes. Look at her makeup. Look at those earrings. Look at that outfit. It screams 80s and I love it. And the big hair, the big choppy hair. We're here for it. I love it. So I I love Gem and the holograms. And I, I still sing some of the songs. Okay, next in our trip down childhood memory lane. Make sure we don't lose any of the plastics anymore. We have Rainbow Bright. Yay. And she has Twink. Trying to see. There you go. You can see her a little better without the ring light. But she is number 380. I love this box. It is so cute. And you have that retroness. Oh, and I cannot lose her stand. She does come with a stand. You will see what I mean when I can't lose this one. Because her stand is a flipping rainbow. Like, can they all be rainbows? I know it's rainbow bright and she needs a rainbow. But if they were all like this, I'd notice them all. Here she is, Rainbow Bright, just like the dolls I had growing up and watching the movie over and over again. Oh my gosh. Once again, I want the entire Rainbow Bright series. Life was simpler back then. And of course, she comes with little Twink. He's little and he's small and I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked these haven't broke off yet. But yes. Yeah. Now I know she actually goes for a pretty penny now. And I understand. Rainbow Bright. Love her. Can, can I get some Lady Lovely Locks though? No one probably knows what Lady Lovely Locks is, right? I can find a picture. I had the dolls. I had the books. I had the the cartoons. I loved Lady Lovely Locks. Okay. Last but not least is one that is clear and dear to my heart. You know I love redheads. And I was in redhead in the 80s. I'm a redhead now, despite the gray streaks. I'm a Brad of Frankenstein streak. And it is Strawberry Shortcake. Pop Animation 1294. This is the Hot Topic exclusive that came out a couple of months ago. It got sold out so fast. And then they had another where you can pre-order it. It finally showed up. So I was really hoping it'd be here before December. And it did. And it's strawberry scented. Which I probably can't smell anything because I've had a lot of allergy issues and sinus issues from the temperature change and being stuck inside all the time. But, oh my gosh, I know they came out with 
a series of strawberry shortcake and her friends and the chef like years ago and it had, they had pets with them and they were also scented and then they had some dwarves the door of a strawberry shortcake is right up there I knocked it down and now it's going to fall over and I don't really want to mess with it. But my mom has so many pictures of me as a kid with strawberry shortcake dolls. Because of course, I'm a redhead. Give me all the redhead dolls. So here is strawberry shortcake looking all adorable, sitting on a bunch of strawberries. And I love it how she's in the 80s outfit. Oh, I have a hat like this somewhere. And I don't know where it is now, and it would take me way too long to find it. And I'm doing this video last minute. I'm sorry. But I need to do a cosplay of Strawberry Shortcake again, because it's so much fun. But yes, I love the details, the little details on her apron and everything. Oh, she is so cute. Yay, I'm happy to have a Strawberry Shortcake. Funko Pop! Which one's my favorite? My favorite will always be Rainbow Bright. And yes, you too, Twink. Here you go. These are my favorites. But I'm very happy to have another strawberry shortcake. Yay! Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like the video, comment down below what is your favorite Funko that maybe I showed, or what are your favorite childhood memories you'd like to see in Funko form. Or are we twins on any of these? I know Jake and Jake's Disney Afternoon. He likes Rainbow Bright. We've talked about the love for Rainbow Bright. Don't forget to subscribe for more geeky content. And as always, have a great day and stay geeky. Bye!